Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Okay. I think I set up something for the... Let's see how this goes. Uh, no, I'm going super chill. Especially since at the beginning I'm trying to set up this live stream. There's only like three of us. It's gonna be... Uh, I probably... Yeah. I think it'll be hard pressed for you to get dropped. And uh, there's, a, there's a flat section to the mountain, so I'm definitely just trying to see, figure out the tech stuff and, as on the way for fun. But it looks different. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, I think we're a little bit further back than usual, slightly. Just slightly, yeah, I think so. It should be, should be okay. <laughs> Yeah, they, they usually are pretty good about adding um, some holiday stuff. Let me see here. Oh yeah, I didn't put on the light bike. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll change it later. <laughs> I have the I have the Tron bike on right now. I'm not usually have much of an early riser, so. But it looks like it's just the three of us. There was like, I think there was eight people signed up at one point. Probably. I was fortunately there's nothing with mine, or I was fine. Wow, you actually drove you actually drove outside? Yeah, that's intense. What pace do you guys want to go up? I was just gonna go at uh, I was just gonna go at like three, like whatever pace I can talk at, three point two. You know your way, yeah. That's true. That's one really good thing about Swift. It's like next to impossible to get lost.
Uh, Lawrence, let me know if you can hear me, but I'm traveling out on Monday. Can you hear that all right? Oh yeah, I think people on Discord can hear me, but I'm curious if people on YouTube can hear me. Let me see. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I might be talking to two different people sometimes. I, you, guys aren't, you guys aren't broadcasted though, because I was too lazy to set it all up. Yeah. So don't worry. <laughs> what you're saying is just us three. Yeah, I'm, I'm going out on Monday. I'm leaving for Japan. Yep. Yeah, Mount Fuji will be the second day and third day. I'm hoping I can sneak out some time to go bike at uh, Lake Kawaguchiko. So that should be a lot of fun, I'm hoping. Yeah. Uh, just like uh, those cruiser bikes, the really simple big bikes. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going up the mountain on those bikes, but yeah, like good to hear that the audio is somewhat okay. To be honest, this was last minute put together. I might debug it again as we're descending the mountain, <laughs> but for now. We have me, we have uh, Ente, and we have Radu, the three of us both brave souls going up this mountain. Wait, where do you guys even go? Wait, en oh, Entai went up the road. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Nice. We'll catch you later. Hello, Scott, and hello, Yuki player. Huh. This is... So what, do you guys have any uh, Christmas plans, I guess? I guess <laughs> if you guys are Swifty, maybe not, but I don't know. For, for tomorrow. Oh, nice. I, 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 to be honest, all my errands that I was going to do yesterday got delayed, so now <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of time crunched today, so maybe I'll just do one or two, and then do my errands, and then, and then do this again later tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, because <laughs> I was expecting to run my errands yesterday before I left for Japan, but obviously no one could do anything yesterday, so, so yeah. We'll figure it out, but at least once or twice. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I don't have to. I could do get. I could ride in Japan too. Yeah. I am Canadian. Yes. I uh, born and raised in Vancouver. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going between two conversations. I don't have them hooked up right now. Yeah, do you guys have any crazy ice stories? Did anyone see a car get smashed? Like in person? Alright, uh, the official one begins up ahead. There's, a, there's this little red marker. And then for people that haven't seen this before, yeah, this is about like uh, 3,300 feet. And it should probably take us about an hour or so to get up.
Yep. And then there's 21 air pins exactly. Have you been, have I, any of you been to the actual Alp Duez? Yeah. Well. Yeah, I don't think many of us left the house yesterday. I, I most certainly did not. All right, let's go. The official hill begins now. That's okay. I think I have my uh, my settings a little generous right now from uh, from Swift Racing, so it's the hill's not as intense as it should be. But that's okay. Sorry to hear that, Scott. Yeah, sometimes the weather works against us and we can't ride outside. <laughs> I always really want to ride outside too, but that's just how it is. <laughs> but that's one of the nice things about using something like this. It's just, it just doesn't matter what it looks like outside. Let's just try to catch up to uh, end time. How far ahead are you? Eight seconds, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not gonna go sub 50 right now, no. Scott, which Garmin are you getting? Oh, that's exciting, yeah. I think my first Garmin was a 520. I really enjoyed it. Oh no, Spencer, hope you're feeling better soon. It's really terrible to get sick. I got, not gonna lie, I got COVID just a couple, a few weeks ago too. So it's definitely going around. But I feel pretty much back. Yeah. The flattest route, uh, Lawrence, do you want to go on the, uh, my advice is to do one of the pace partners, the robo pacers, and then just do the flat route. So Tempest, you get Volcano Flat. They're all pretty good. So yeah, I think there's one that holds at like 1.8 or something on Volcano Flat right now. That would be a good option to just pick up miles. All right, Ryder, you're going to go all the way to the top, right? You're not going to stop? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go at a pace where I can just keep talking like this, sort of.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hairpins here are weird. You get a flat part out of the hairpins. I don't know. I guess... Yeah, I see. And I didn't really eat breakfast, so I'm just eating it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just eating a bar. Not, oh, uh, I think I might put it up on a meetup view only for the club events. So we can't see anyone in the real world. And then uh, Lawrence, yeah, um, the Sea Sky Highway, I wrote it for uh, the RBC Grand Fondo. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. That's the only time where it's fully closed. But it's so. I did the regular ride, yeah. Because Mount Cypress that you do in the beginning, you can usually do it on a pretty normal day. So I figured I just do that separately, but that didn't work out. Yes, I plan to do the RSVP next year. No, there was never a one day option. Mainly just with the border, I don't think the RSVP would have one day. Because they sort of want people to arrive, I think, probably near the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You can do it on your own. I might do that, actually. We'll see. But yeah, in terms of just general Vancouver riding, I definitely haven't done as much as I'd like. So hopefully this year will be a lot more of that. There's a lot of cool roads in Vancouver, especially North Vancouver and North Shore. Yeah, it's pretty climby. <laughs> I think it's uh, across 60 miles. I believe it's just about 7,000 feet of elevation. So it's not crazy steep. You're not going to run into anything over like 8% on the course. But it's, uh, it's sort of non-stop. But I mean, all, all types of people do it though, when I was on the course this past year. 
definitely hellier than STP, but it's uh, most people just work their way through it. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, logistical issues this year, just not enough food and drink. Yep. Yeah, I saw the green bananas. I can't even. I couldn't even try. I didn't even want to try. It was so bad. Yeah, like straight, straight on the plane or something. I don't know. Radu, are you going to lead more rides next year for the Cascade? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I like the group rides, but they're just like so far away. They're always in Kirkland. <laughs> That's why I'm just too lazy. But I should come out to more. I don't think I've actually technically been to a meet yet. I wouldn't ride in the vigorous group. I'd just be in the 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 one lower than the top one. Oh yeah, yeah. sense thanks for the comment on the new bike yeah it's hard for me to find bikes my size so when I hear about one I get too tempted but looking forward to climb a lot with the ethos next year Radio, you can, but if you think about it this way, a light bike is way more proportional to me, or way more impactful to me than to someone that's really heavy, in terms of total weight. I'm just kidding. It's not that light. I didn't buy S Works. I still have excuses. That's the most important part. Lawrence, what kind of bike do you ride? Nice. Short people for the win. But I think I'll definitely be riding Chili Hilly. Will you guys be riding it in Thailand, Radu? Or anyone in the chat? Yeah. Yeah, Chili is fun. I still didn't do Cho Toe Jam Hill, so I'll do this. I'll do that the next time I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I don't think they would put that on the route for most people. Yeah, but that's the fun part. Yeah, I like Chili Hilly. It's like a, it's, it's a fun mix. Uh, and then the people that really want to go fast, they just do multiple laps anyway, so. Wait, 2020, wasn't it in the summer? Was Chili Hilly in the summer in 2020? Or what year was that? Where they did the August edition. Oh, 2021, okay. Yep, that's true. Chilly hilly becomes sweaty hilly in August. <laughs> yeah, those hills are fun. Hey Eric, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Lawrence, I can totally relate with that. In 2020 February, I actually was also visiting my family in Hong Kong. <laughs> So, as soon as I came back, everything just shut down. And now, three years later, I'm finally going back. Oh man, I forgot to bring a towel. Now I'm regretting it. <laughs> it's definitely not as cold as yesterday. Uh, I have 2 million drops now, yes, but actually there's a lot of equipment that I can't buy until like the mid-level 30s, uh, like the best in the game. So I'm just waiting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saving in my drops right now. How many drops do you guys have? Uh, the the middle thing, there's like a little bl light blue number between your uh, time elapsed and, and the distance. <laughs> Are you serious? You have a dead spot on your screen covering just the drops? Okay. Got it. Yeah, Lawrence, definitely the best investment in this game is definitely just to put in some time and unlock the Tron bike through the Iversing challenge because that bike is like the basically the best all rounder for a long, long time. So, and then after that, there's a few bikes you can buy. Oh no, it, it took me like, uh, it took me two, se two seasons, or two and a half seasons of like, not intense riding. <laughs> or like, I wasn't intentionally going for it.
All right, we're how many hairpins down are we? Nine, about eight or nine. The entire probably like at ten. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pace it pretty easy until I get a proper, proper food <laughs> after the first one. <laughs> Honestly, I do want to do a lot more best like group rides in general next year, so I'll do my best on that first, and then yeah. Maybe a best side Vancouver trip, and then we'll work our way out. <laughs> but you know the guys I used to ride from work, like Jin and GGY? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, someday I'll do a, a Europe trip with them, but they're all stronger than me. So they'll be pulling me along. Yeah. Yeah, those co-workers are probably the main reason why I got into the fitness side of cycling a little bit. <laughs> I had to chase them all the time. Can't tell who else is in the live stream, but hope you all had uh, survived the ice storm. That nothing too crazy happened. <laughs> able to stay dry. Or at least for me, able to stay on your two feet, stay upright. My, my worst black ice memory is always from Vancouver when I was in high school. I was like just about to go to class and then just like totally yard sailed right in front of the, the school. <laughs> So, Yeah, for me this mountain gets way easier after the, the 10. I don't know why. Have you guys... <coughs> Radu, have you done this hill a lot? And Ty, I know you do this all the time. But... Yeah. Yeah, the hard... The steepest part of the bottom. And you have to make sure just not to burn your legs. And then once you get to 5, uh, they're all relatively short enough that you can just muster your your courage, I guess, and just go. <laughs> yeah, I use the little brakes. I used to use them to drink water, but I guess if you're racing, you have to use that to get speed.
Wait, Lawrence, which area did you uh, go to high school in or grow up in? And then for rather than Tai, what, 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 what trainer uh, difficulty do you have it on right now? What percentage trainer difficulty is it on for you guys in the Swiss settings? Okay, yeah, that's like 75 or 60. Yeah, I, I also have a compact setup on this bike too, 34, 34. <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely done the 100% out before. It feels okay. It's not fun, but it's, it's, yeah, I'd rather just have it lower. And nice, nice Lawrence. I've never really visited Iowa before. Maybe someday I'll get there. <laughs> no, the bike that's on my trainer right now is uh, one I bought uh, second hand. So it's like this Fuji bike. I should do a video on all my bikes and why I need them. I think I have, I have five bikes including the folding bike in this one. It's, yeah, I really like it. Uh, I plan to have one in Hong Kong to ride around. I mean, it's not f like fast, fast, but it's not slow. Uh, on flat, you can probably manage like 10 to 13 if you're trying. <laughs> yeah. So I really enjoy it. Oh yeah, Reg Bri. I've heard a lot about that ride before. I guess the main problem with me in those sort of rides is that I don't drink, so I don't know how much fun I would have. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, just party on bikes. But yeah, good to finally ride with you, Radu. I remember you ditched us multiple times. That's kidding. <laughs> Not in person yet. Nope. Yep. I will come to a meet that you're leading. Yeah. I'll definitely try to think of some stuff to do in the new year. Yeah, I think that will be an annual one. That was a lot of fun. I can organize it even a little bit more. Maybe ask for a few dollars from each person. It can be pretty fun. It's pretty easy. The hardcore chilly hilly self Belly version. <laughs> Best side summits.
the hardest hill on the east side. It's definitely in that area. Um, I would say, to me, the the one with the steepest gradient is uh, is the I Mamacita. It's a uh, just next to the that one's the steepest. But honestly, I think it's just like total effort to get on top of it. Obviously, maybe some people say Zoo, the long, extended version is the hardest. But I, to me, I think the the Widowmaker, the the one that is like uh, Metal Wood Park Wall, yeah, the, uh, near the summit. To me, that one requires the most effort to get on top. Like Zoo, you can sort of chill at a lot of parts if you wanted to. But that one, you can't chill. <laughs> you just have to go. Yeah. Unless, yeah, so I would say that, that one to me. But I guess it just depends what people think is hardest. Like just holding hills or the steepest ones. Yeah, like Zoo does have steep bits for sure. Like near the bottom, the second switchback, and like near the end. But there's a lot of it that's okay. <laughs> so it just depends. But no, all those hills are pretty comparable in some ways. All 10% per grade year, most of them. Okay, yeah, uh, Lawrence, I've also been meaning to explore even the trails here in Seattle. Like I haven't gone over to like the Green River Trail, like all of it, and the uh, South Interurban Trail. So that's on my bucket list. Or even West Seattle. There's a lot more roads I haven't ridden on. I've ridden on Akai, but that was about it. And then, oh, anyone on the live stream, you're welcome to hop into the Discord too. I think we have it. I could. You want to just chat with us here too? Yeah, that's okay. It is what it is. I'm okay, but yeah, definitely not trying to go too hard. The whoop? No, I don't have like a long term tracker thing if that's what you're asking. How do you like how did you like the whoop? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, those those whoop and other things. Yeah, definitely interesting. I think it would have been useful for me if I had it during sickness. So I can tell when I'm like officially recovered-ish. At least from a cardio perspective. But yeah.
No, you're not getting any distance with this climb, no. But it feels good to let your character roll to the end by itself. And this time's a little different because I'm just looking at the live stream chat. <laughs> Not even really paying attention to the to my watch or anything. Whatever it goes, it goes. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely need to pace it if I go do this three times. Also, it looks like we really settled our positions. Yeah. To Japan, 10 and a half hours. Yep. And then flying to Hong Kong is another five. Afterwards. Yeah. Geographically, Hong Kong is pretty hilly. Very interesting place actually, outside of the city. It's very contrasting.
Yeah, are most things open on Christmas Eve around here? I forget. Why is the post office open today? I need to go check. <laughs> Maybe not, yeah. We'll have to see. That's true. <laughs> that would be sort of fun, like if you have indoor trainers on a plane and then the indoor trainers can power the plane, so you're forced to ride your bike. <laughs> if technology got to that point, that would be pretty crazy. <laughs> That's so cruel. But <laughs> yeah, Lord, it's the power of the plane. But no, we wouldn't do that. I think. Yeah, Spirit Airlines would pull something like that off.
Wait, Anti, what's your what's your PR of this thing? Okay. Radu, what's yours? You know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 48, but I hope I get to 45 next year. Five. Getting there. The time goes by faster and slower when I'm in conversation. <laughs> so by, time goes by faster, but I'm definitely not putting in as much work as usual. Wait, you're not done, are you? Yeah, I've seen some people get the light wheels the first try and I'm so jealous. <laughs> You'll get them though. Yeah, I need a ch I need a change to the the Cannondale. 
but that's okay. Yeah, I, I think you need to be level 34 to unlock the ethos. Yeah, so I can't even own the bike. Actually, I don't have that bike, that's in that works. Yeah. But yeah, the timing with the ice storm, thankfully it looks like my flight will leave Monday without, an, without a problem. But it feels bad for everyone yesterday. Pretty sure like barely any planes left the airport. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it to an hour, uh, approximately. I just need a pace for the multiple efforts today. <laughs> and also, I rushed out here without eating anything. So I'm sort of bonked. YOLO. That's okay. Nice. You, I, honestly, after going up this this many times, I still haven't figured out when exactly you get power ups. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. Yep.
I think this might be my chillest Alp ever. <laughs> but that's okay. I need to do, do a couple more today. Alp is always associated with so much sweating and pain. Pardon? Oh, I've done bent up once. Yeah, I only done bent up once. It's too boring. Yep. Good job. Nice. Nice work, Lawrence. And cool. Yeah. I don't think I have a Chili Hilly t-shirt, but I know I have the STP and RCP jerseys from 2018-2019. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to continue this later in the evening and then you go run out and <laughs> do stuff, try to do stuff, we'll see. But I really do want to hit 450. How much elevation do you guys get? I know it, 
we were pretty close in time. Radu, do you know your numbers for the year? Do you think you hit like 10k miles? Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, man. Yeah, I know for my... Oh, thank you. Thanks for the ride on, for the kudos. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't say that. I still, I. I'll go back downhill. And yeah, I think I need to go out and run some errands first, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday definitely messed up a lot of plans. <laughs> uh, don't say once in a lifetime. I thought it would only be once in a lifetime that it hits like 100 degrees here. I don't know. Go for it, Radu. You got this. Hey, Radu, how, how many languages can you speak? Okay. Nice. That's good. All right. 
right. Fairy shell first lap. That's it. One forty. Uh huh. All right. And then that's the end of the event. But yeah, thanks so much for everyone that's watching. Yeah, I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna continue this later, just because I couldn't do anything yesterday. But I'll I'll definitely go. And anti, you're down. You're descending right now. Yo, Radu, I I I, I think it's oh, okay. Yeah, I think once you get the wheels, though, it, it keeps giving you the wheels because I just got the wheels again. <laughs> The pink one, yeah. Yeah, the pink wheels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you've definitely done this more than me and Ty. It's good. You, you gotta know that something about Entai. He all he does is Mercer Island or this. Both are about an hour, and then he he always underestimates himself. He can probably easily ride with us, uh, Radu, or beat me in a flat. <laughs> but he doesn't ride with that many other people. No, no, no. You say <laughs> on the flats, not really. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll definitely be here for the descent so everyone can, can see what it looks like. Being able to go go speed through every corner at like 50 miles per hour, it's pretty good. Not something I would want to try in real life. Yeah. The, but the best part is that you don't even need to be on the bike to go downhill on this on this one. The momentum just carries it forward. Yeah, in real life, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I really want to try these like European climbs because I feel like that way I can finally practice hairpins. Cause in here, like you can't really practice them, like only one or two corners at a time maximum. Like there, at least you can practice like these corners repeatedly, you know. And then you get a, and then you get a rhythm. Oh yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, that's why we're not in the pro peloton though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Ronnie, how much more do you have to go? You're done? Go ahead. Good job, guys. We made Three of us made it to the top. Easy, easy ride. Yeah, that wasn't a. <laughs> to me, that was pretty chill, but made harder by trying to manage technology at the same time, <laughs> and and uh, but it was fun. Uh, I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna keep this up till I reach the bottom, but no one's been able to hear you. Yeah.
next time maybe I'll, I'll, I'll make it that way. That's sort of more fun. But yeah, it's just descending down super tuck. Uh, and <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've been using a Swift Club for these online rides. So I'll link that there. And then in terms of my real name, uh, honestly, it's not very hard to find out what my real name is, so I don't really care but I, i'll refer to myself as best sites like link just for fun but yeah <laughs> and my name is pronounced hanok though if you want to say my real name where's the swift club well yeah we'll we'll, we'll continue we'll continue this later but well, are any of you guys officially doing the Rapid 500? Or planning to, planning to do the whole thing? Because I'm definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can. And then also the Strava Club is, a group, is, is how I think I will try to organize most of my group rides next year for people in person. Or maybe, Radu, how hard is it to become a Cascade group ride leader? Is it? Is it a hard process? Because uh, like... Because like I'm sure... I see. Because I guess that would give me a lot more reach, right? And it's not like a bad thing for me to organize through both. Like if I if I put it on the website, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll try that. Maybe you can uh, you can be my mentor. We'll figure it out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, not right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, but for the new year, like once it gets warmer, like. Organizing group rides on the Strava Club is fine, but yeah, I feel like if it was on Cascade, I could get a lot more random people to just come by and 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 hang out with us. Cause I I wouldn't I I probably wouldn't group group lead uh anything too intense except for maybe the the hilly rides just for fun. I'm planning to do RSVP. STP, I'm going to do it if my dad's going to do it with me. I want to take him along for two days. Um, but I probably won't do... I mean, one day is... I, I'll be honest, it's not the... It's not my top priority to do one day again. <laughs> it's alright, but I feel like... I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about Radu and Entai. But I like, I'm neutral on it. Yeah, and there's like a lot of like ra ra railroad tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I think RSVP just because obviously because of the destination, I'm just super biased. But I would I would do that every year. But but SDP, I'm like, yeah, like I I need some supplemental reasons. So next year would be yeah, my dad's gonna do it. I'm gonna bring him along for two day. But <laughs> we'll see if he if he trains up. I hope he does. That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, if my dad comes, yeah, I'm sure my mom and fam might will want to do a support vehicle, uh, for fun. I like at least not officially, just like just around and uh, meet us in Portland. Um, yeah, cause that would be definitely the longest ride my dad's done, so that might be fun. But I think he can do it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, and I really want to mix it up. So next year, I think in terms of local rides, there's I might try to join the Baker Hill climb, which I haven't done. Uh, maybe the there's a Victoria, yeah, and then Victoria Grand Fondo. So there's a lot I think that I haven't covered uh, more more variety on the channel because there's actually a ton of local rides. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've done. I haven't done the official Hurricane Rage. I've done it on my own, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No worries, man. See, see you, and I. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining the the one lap. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm down to do regular Alps as a group as long as there's demand. <laughs> as long as we can come up with a time, I I'm happy to. It's fun. I'll 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 go I'll go all out next time. Alright, see ya. Yeah, because is there any rules in particular, Radu, about like starting certain rides? Or are they like really chill about what kind of rides you make as long as you follow, I guess as long as you did the training? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh. I see. That's sort of funny though, because I find uh, it's like, it's still pretty subjective. Like it just depends on who shows up. Like the East Side Hills, sometimes the vigorous was versus like meets vigorous. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally. I mean, I definitely wouldn't lead a ride at that pace. My rides would be moderate or brisk at most. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna lead a ride like there, I definitely want to lean on the chill side, but I'd probably still be at like the 13 miles per hour chill side. Probably not like 10, <laughs> like at least a little bit, but yeah, it should be. But yeah, that, that'll be, that's actually sounds like a good idea. I don't know if they'll let me put Best Side Cycling in the title name, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, at least there's a way to, to advertise it out. That'll be fun. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah.
That's true. That's true. Maybe yeah, yeah. I'll I'll see in the new year. Maybe I'll lead a, a hilly hilly brisk ride or something in the South Bellevue area. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end the stream now. Uh, but maybe I'll be back later. We'll see. This is really.